Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. Uh, you'll probably want to do that to get notified of giveaways because I'm going to give away a couple of the kit I'm about to review. This is the new one from Verifier. This is their 1700th H-Class German battleship. The H-Class were a series of battleship designs for Germany's Kriegsmarine during the build-up that was for Plan Z that was supposed to happen in the late 30s, early 40s. Um, the first variation, H-39, the subject of this kit, um, was supposed to be six ships built essentially in large Bismarck-class battleships with 16-inch guns. The initial H-39 design was improved with H-41, 42, 43, 44 designs that increased the armament calibre and displacement to 130,000 tonnes and 20-inch guns of the H-44. Uh, none of the ships were ever completed, only the first two of the H-39 ships were laid down. What work that had been started was halted and, and from November 1941 onwards uh, it was sent for scrap. Contracts for the other four H-39s um, work hadn't even begun on those. Um, the H-39, the subject of this kit, would have been armed with four twin 16-inch turrets, 12 5.9-inch guns, and top speed would have been 30 knots and displacement of 56,000 tons. In plastic, the H-39 hasn't been done once before in 1 700th scale by a company called NNT in resin, but from what I can tell, that kit's going to be really hard to find and even more expensive. Um, this is the first kit of H39 class in 1 700th plastic and there's another couple of kits in different scales but again I think those these days they'll be pretty hard to find. Okay so what do we get in the box? Uh, obviously this is 1 700th scale German battleship H class. Uh, this is obviously never uh, real, ne none were constructed although they were planned much like the, uh, the Montana class. Uh, on the sides we've got basically a bit of background um, on the design, um, pictures on this side, similar painting scheme to the Bismarck, uh, colours, Mr. Hobby, uh, Victorium and AK Interactive, which ends, pretty solid box, seems like it's more made of yeah, corrugated rather than just flimsy cardboard and stuff. So inside we have the instructions. So look here we've got sprue layout. The steps are not numbered, but it's okay. Looks like we've got a bunch of sprues, decal sheet, photo etch, chain, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight sprues and some big bits. Uh, do it waterline or full hull. And then just going through the steps there. Superstructure, also get colour painting guide. Um, another option without the uh, black and white stripes. Again, colours called out in Mr. Hobby Victorian and AK Interactive. Looks like there's no swastikas on the decals, we'll see in a second. And then Instructions finishing off there. Just put this there. Everything is bagged, obviously. It's pretty thick plastic, not the thin, thin plastic bags. Uh, Money superstructure part there. Everything is ooh, two parts in there. Everything is nicely bagged. Every single part is individually bagged, in fact. And the ends of the, the pointy bits are protected with foam. Here's the deck. Looks quite nice. I can see there's decking detail on there and some raised detail. Looks pretty neat. Small photo etched thread. Notice there's no railings, 
So if you want railings, you'll either have to um, buy those separately, or I know there's a detail, they're producing a detail upset for this, which is coming out uh, any time now, should be, should be out in the next month or so. Um, so there's a few parts on there. Decal sheet, have a look at that, but it looks like it's the swastikas are um, basically the ones you put together. Let's have a quick look, see. It might even be actually the swastikas are just just plain missing. Because um, these are decals for the aircraft. Some uh, Kriegsmarine ensigns. Yeah, it looks like the uh, swastikas are just plain missing, so you'll have to work that one out for yourself. And an anchor chain. So everything is in there. I'll just open up some of these bags and we'll have a quick look, Steve. Okay, so I've got the sprues out the bags. Uh, I can get two of these sprues. So there's a funnel. Breakwater, funnel cap, uh, sorted parts on there. Inside the funnel has detail, there's raised detail on the funnels as well. Superstructure out there. You get four of these, basically ship's boats armoured, there's a main turret. Um, same guns as used on the uh, Bismarck. The barrels. <coughs> Same guns as used on the Bismarck. The barrels, I was trying to see if they're hollow at the end. I don't think so, but the photographs that follow will uh, confirm that. Secondary armament. And then, and looks like a ship's crane. Some more secondary armament. Range finders. All nice and crisp. No flash, as this, this is a brand new moulding. And in fact, this one's the same as the last, uh, last one. Oh, there's an, an aircraft down there. And then we can come up and nice bits of detail on there. Portholes. The same on that one as well. Doors. And some nice detail in there. Lower hull, three propellers. It's really nice strike at the bottom. Some detail down here as well. Inlets and outlets. The main part, obviously, lots of lots of detail on the side there as well. And decking in certain places. All looks good. Oh, the top half of the uh, hull, portholes, cutaways, armour plate. It's pretty neat, it's about 12 inches long. Lower hole we've flipped out, and the main deck. As I said, there's deck detail on there, and raised detail as well. So it all looks Loosely. There we go. That's it. Those fit together quite nicely. There's the main four hole together. So, uh, let's have a close up look through the instructions, close up look at some of the parts. There'll be loads of photographs of everything on the website. The link for that is underneath. And also, because we sell this in our shop, there'll be a link for this in the uh, to our shop as well. So, let's have a look at the instructions. 
As I said, the box here is uh, seems to be made for thin corrugated cardboard, so it's pretty sturdy. Inside the box we've got eight sprues of varying sizes holding 316 parts about, uh, six other larger parts, a P sheet with 36 parts, small decal sheet, black and white paper instruction booklet of eight pages, and a colour sheet for the painting guide and decal placement. I'll have a quick look at the instructions one page at a time. Um, page one, putting together the main, secondary and uh, anti-aircraft turrets. Um, turrets are quite nicely detailed. Um, I mentioned this when I was opening the box and having a look-see, but yeah, the barrels are not hollow on the end. You might want to uh, get a barrel set uh, that'll come with the detail upset, which should be released when about July the 20th, 2019. And moving further down, uh, you have the choice of waterline or full hull. Putting those together, and if you're doing it full hull, putting the propellers, rudders together, and also putting the Audo 196 together. Over the page to page two, and I'm putting some small details on the forecastle. Um, putting together some more uh, small guns, rangefinders, and we start a bit of work on the biggest, or the, other than the hull, the biggest part of plastic, the uh, superstructure of midships. We start building some small parts on that. Step three is starting to really concentrate on the superstructure, uh, putting building together some subcomponents for the main superstructure. We're putting together the two ship's funnels, uh, searchlights, and other small parts. Basically, making uh, sub assemblies that we're going to put on the main superstructure a bit later on. Step four: more work and um, putting things on the funnels. And then going down, um, putting together more sub uh, assemblies, and then finally at the bottom of this page, we put some of those sub assemblies together onto that big part of the uh, the superstructure that we get. And basically, putting the the main uh, part of the superstructure together all in one piece. Step five. Now we've got most of the main superstructure is all together, all in one piece. Uh, add a few more small parts to it, um, another sub-assembly goes on, ship's boats go on, put the crane together and add some anti-aircraft guns that fit on the main central superstructure. And the last page, basically you fit the whole of the superstructure in one fell swoop onto the hull you built back on the first page. So it's a pretty uh, reasonably straightforward system. The hull is uh, one thing and building the superstructure is another thing. And then finally you add the uh, the main and secondary armaments and an arrow 196 or two and that's it, you're finished. For paint and decals um, you get the paints, there's like a colour swatch Mr. Hobby, Victorium and AK Interactive numbers are used. Uh, you get a couple of painting guides, obviously these are hypothetical, but they seem pretty realistic since one of them is, or basically both of them are very, um, very much Bismarck painting schemes, which seems a good thing. Um, there's not a sign of any swastikas in this on the decal sheet whatsoever, um, so you'll have to source those yourselves. Um, both for the big ones that go on the decks, if you wish to add those, um, and if you want to put them on the on the aircraft, um, but you can probably get away with not doing those actually. Uh, you also get paint guides for the ship's boats. Um, and all should be pretty neat, a reasonably straightforward colour scheme if you want it, and some simple painting for the other one. So an overall conclusion. Um, it's the only ship in this scale of this uh, particular class of ship. It's probably about the only one you're actually going to find, to be honest, without doing uh, a lot of searching and getting lucky in finding one and spending a lot of money to get one. Um, uh, the build seems to be reasonably straightforward. The hull build the superstructure. Uh, painting scheme is reasonably straightforward. Um, the, it would be a perfect accompaniment to their uh, 1700th Montana if you've got that. I know they're bringing out a detail upset which should be released around July the 20th and honestly it, you probably need that to be honest because um, there's no ship's railings which for me always sort of makes it uh, is obvious. Um, so that would be a good addition to go with this set. 
Um, but other than that, it's a nice little kit. Should go together quite nicely. Most unusual. People will think it's a Bismarck, and you can point out that no, it isn't. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, this kit is available on our uh, website, on our web store. Um, the link is underneath the video.